Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com with The Hockey Movement, and in this video, we're talking about proper hockey stick length. What is the right length for you? So first thing that I wanna share is a method that I recommend if you're a brand new hockey player. Then I have a method you can use if you're an experienced hockey player, you wanna play around with the length of the stick. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit about controversy and the pros and cons of having a longer stick or a shorter stick. Uh, you'll notice behind me, I have some hockey sticks here. So there's a really short one, there's the one that I use, and then I have Zdeno Chara's hockey stick. So we're gonna use those for demonstration purposes. Let's get right to it. First, I wanna share my recommendation for new hockey players. You don't have a playing style, you don't have personal preferences at all. You should start right about in the middle. So when you're measuring hockey sticks, it's when you're on skates and it's relative to a location on your body. So we're not gonna give you the actual length, it just depends on where it comes up to on your body. So put on some hockey skates, get your hockey stick and hold it up to your body. My recommendation is that the stick should come just underneath your chin. Now the reason I recommend this is because it's right in the middle. Your common lengths for hockey sticks are about chest height all the way up to maybe about the eyes. You don't wanna to go too much longer than that and you don't wanna to go too much shorter than that. And I'll talk about reasons why later in the video. So what are the advantages or disadvantages of a shorter stick or a longer stick? I'm gonna talk about them here. So I have a really short hockey stick as an extreme example. Uh, typically, the people who like shorter hockey sticks are the guys who like to dangle. This isn't always the case because if you look at Pavel Datsuk, he has a pitcher holding a stick and it's about up to his forehead when he's at a hockey camp. So always personal preference, but typically guys who like to dangle like shorter sticks. The reason, because they can control the puck in closer to their body. With a shorter stick, the blade is gonna be laying flat in close to your feet, whereas if I grab this one, holding this stick out, you can see it's further away from my body. Some disadvantages to having a shorter stick is that it can reduce your shot power because uh, you don't have as much stick to flex. Also, when you cut a hockey stick, it increases the flex of the stick. So if you start with an 80, if you cut it down really short, it could end up being 110, so it's a lot stiffer. Another disadvantage can be it can cause back pain. If you cut your short stick down short, then in order to hold it properly, say my bottom hand going down to the middle for a slap shot, I have to bend over a lot, which can give me back pain, or you just have to bend your legs a lot. Now this is obviously an extreme example, but you can see the disadvantages. Uh, last one for having a short stick is you don't have as much reach. So you might miss more passes because you can't reach out and grab them. Uh, you also might not be able to play as well defensively because you can't give as good poke checks because you have a shorter hockey stick. So what about the advantages and disadvantages of a long hockey stick? Well, here I have Zdeno Chara's hockey stick. It's laughably long, obviously way too long for me. It's well above my head. I would only recommend a stick this long if you're seven feet tall. <laughs> so we'll talk about some of the advantages first. Longer hockey sticks are great for defensemen. Usually the defense like longer sticks. It's because they can get bigger poke checks, right? They can reach guys further away, better for intercepting passes. If you wanna lay your stick on the ice, you can take away a long passing lane, right? So really good for those types of things. Usually better for defense, uh, getting in the way, blocking shots. Longer stick is usually better. Second thing, which is also good for defense, is you can get a lot of power. If your stick's a little bit longer, you can really load it up, right? And you have more stick to shoot that puck at the net. So typically you get a little bit more power with longer hockey stick. The disadvantages to having a longer hockey stick are pretty much the advantages to having a shorter hockey stick. So the disadvantage would be with a long stick, you can't have really good puck control in close to your feet. If you try to pull the puck in close or get a pass in that's really close, the uh, stick heel is gonna come off and you only have the toe touching the ice. So you're gonna miss a few pucks there, not as good puck control, and the stick can get in the way if you're trying to dangle and pull the puck in close. The body gets in the way. There's one more method of measuring a stick that I usually recommend to the more experienced hockey players that already have their own playing style. And I also use it on the ice as a Timbit coach. So coaches, you can use this one as well. So for the experienced players, right? As you get more experience, you're gonna have different playing styles. I'm six feet tall, but if I'm a really aggressive skater, low to the ice, lots of knee bend, I'm usually gonna use a shorter hockey stick, right? Because I want the stick blade to be flush on the ice. If I use a really long stick, the heel could be the only thing touching the ice with the toe off. I'm not gonna get a lot of puck contact. Now you can change this using the lie of the stick, but we'll talk about that in a different video. So on that same topic, if I'm a more upright player, I'm usually gonna use a bit of a longer stick because if my stick is really short, then only my toe will be contacting the stick. Also, you can change that with the lie, but we're gonna talk about that in a different video. So, if you're an experienced player and you wanna play with the length of your stick, what are you gonna do? Grab your hockey stick, don't cut it, throw your skates on, head out on the ice, and just stick handle, shoot, and keep moving your top hand up and down the stick until you find that comfortable position where you're feeling the puck well, you're getting good shots off, and then you just take a piece of tape or a marker, mark right there, and that's where you're gonna to wanna to cut your stick. That's it for tips on picking the right hockey stick length for you. Hopefully those tips will help you. If you're looking for more videos on picking a hockey stick, I'll put a 
link to the playlist right there. Uh, if you're looking for videos to improve your skills, we do new hockey videos every single week. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.